Hi, my name is Melissa McKim, and this is for Assignment 4, Reflections of Assignments 2 and 3. So today I'm just going to talk to you about what I learned using the Google Plus community and what I will take with me in my educational role as a second grade teacher. So a few things I learned doing our assignments was that it's very easy to create a community, to use it, and to customize it. It's a new way of communicating and collaborating. You can easily share ideas or web links. It can also be used with students or colleagues. Um, you can share ideas with your teammates or other teachers. You can also use it to communicate and share tasks or responsibilities for the school year within your um, team. In second grade, we have to organize their first reconciliation and first communion, and there are many, many things we have to ensure that are completed to make sure that day runs really smoothly. So I was thinking within my team that we could use it as um, kind of a checklist, kind of like a to-do list for us to keep track of everything and to stay organized. So again, it's not only for students, it can also be for your colleagues um, in collaboration. So some goals for my classroom are, I have two obvious ones that I think should be intertwined whenever you use anything digitally within your classroom. First of all, the focus on digital citizenship. So using Google Plus for my second graders will allow them to learn to communicate with others respectfully under my supervision. What a great way for these children to learn how to utilize social media respectfully. Um, that's one, one of my goals for my classroom to use this program. Another thing is obviously for collaboration. When collaborating with others, you are understanding a topic more thoroughly and bouncing ideas off of each other. One of the things that I would like to do for next year with Google Plus is at the beginning of the year, I'd like to use this as a way the students can get to know each other by perhaps filling out a survey and then we could post it to the Google Plus community. Another idea I had was in an article we read a couple weeks ago, it said to allow the kids to be a part of the lesson planning when laying out a project-based um, assignment. And so I thought, the Google Plus community could be used for their ideas and their thoughts. Another way it could be used is for research. In second grade, we research, we research saints, and instead of just um, each child being in charge of one saint, if they post it on the Google Plus community, not only will they learn a little bit about a saint, then everyone else can learn about several saints instead of the one they researched. And then the last thing I thought that I could use this for next year would be a classroom journal. So I thought once a week the students could write a reflection. On the week it could be about what they learned that week, a funny story, or what they're looking forward to. So those were my thoughts using Google Plus Community. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.